Hi, Margie Ann here, talking about From Blueprints to Paychecks, Unlocking Opportunities in the Trades. This webinar is going to be for advising individuals interested in pursuing a rewarding career in the skilled trades industries, including fields such as construction, welding, solar energy, and more. And we will be using HVAC as an example to showcase how to find these opportunities and end with some valuable resources to help counselors, job seekers, and students. So we're going to look at some industry insights on how to navigate to find the latest trends and opportunities and demands in the trade sectors, career pathways, explore the diverse career options within the trade industry, and find the best fit to, to suit your interests and talents, and of course, network opportunities. Regarding interest, suppose you don't know what you want to do, you're a little undecided, suppose you're seeking a job, or you want to maybe start a business, and you don't know where to start, well, CCBC actually offers an assessment. You can go to lightcastcc.com, click the link here, and then you can do an assessment. And based on that assessment, you will receive suggestions as to potential career paths. At the end of this presentation, I have my email where you can request a PDF with all the active hyperlinks. You may browse careers based on your Lightcast assessment results, and you can also browse different categories. There are many to select from. As an example, you can click the Architecture and Construction category, and then under there, click Maintenance Operations. These are potential careers, and if you select this area, you'll find the different opportunities. For example, from the Maintenance Operations link, you will be linked to the Basic HVAC and Energy Technology webpage. You can see the results from this webpage, and they show the educational level and some of the earnings potential. Make sure to click the See Career Details for more information about the hands-on careers and the median salaries along with the educational level potentially needed. After you click the details, you will get more information about the salary and you'll also see annual job openings. If you click the list job postings, you will also see active jobs such as refrigeration service technician, HVAC maintenance tech, mechanical working foreman, and so forth of companies currently looking for employees. CCBC provides a link for you to upload your resume or build a resume to respond to these particular job openings. As mentioned before, the links to these can be activated by emailing me for the PDF. Suppose you want to learn what industrial technical careers are out there. To change careers or to make yourself more marketable in your select field, consider adding to your education via a workforce certificate. You can click on CCBC's Industrial Tech webpage. There are many programs to explore from advanced industrial design, construction management, engineering, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, otherwise known as HVAC. If you click on the HVAC link, you will be brought to the Basic HVAC and Energy Technology Certificate section of the website. You'll find a short description, the type of credential, the program code, and of course, if you need additional information, you may reach out to the program coordinator. CCBC offers credit programs such as HVAC as well as workforce programs that are non-credit, continuing education. Continuing education prices may vary. Therefore, for questions about pricing, it's best to reach out to the program coordinator. While you're working on your certificate, as mentioned before, you can click on CCBC's resources to see the different types of jobs available in your select field of study. In addition, you may also visit Maryland Workforce Exchange 
and click the search jobs link filling in the type of job and your location to get more information about employment opportunities in your field. Using HVAC as an example, here are the results from the Maryland Workforce Exchange job search according to city, state, and zip code. You can also go back to the Maryland Workforce Exchange website and below the search engine, you can click on labor market information. From there, you can get data and statistics about your particular job you are researching and are interested in. Here is the Labor Market Information homepage, and as you notice, there are 194,400 current openings. The Maryland Workforce Exchange also connects you to Career One Stop. It's a source for career exploration, training, and jobs, where you can look for job clubs, you can look for training, and you can also explore careers. There are many nonprofits working with CCBC, such as the Center for Urban Families, Springboard Community Services, and Turnaround Tuesday, all looking to help those that are dislocated or unemployed find opportunities. This is a quick list of the CCBC Continuing Education Resource Contact Coordinators and Directors. And if for some reason that you are in high school, you also have resources at Baltimore County Public Schools, CCBC has teachers to assist, such as teachers in automotive, aviation, CDL, externships, etc., to connect you to CCBC Continuing Education Resources. This presentation was provided by Margie Ann Bonnet, an adjunct professor at Johns Hopkins Carey School of Business, a Partnership Workforce Quality Grant recipient, a business owner and consultant for marketing and business development, and presenter for over 20 plus years, and connections to continuing education via CCBC's TDLI department.